Hi Virgo, welcome to your today's love reading. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate your love and support and I hope all is well with everyone. And the Virgo, please bear in mind that this reading will not resonate with each and every one of you. Time is an illusion in tarot, so this reading could resonate with you in the past, currently, or in the future. Okay, Virgo, let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me important accurate love messages for Virgo today. Please show me more. Virgo, please bear in mind that roles can be switched in this reading. Could either be you or your person you are thinking about or dealing with. Got the will fortune it is in the past. However, the lovers is in reverse. So it does look like you could have made a decision to change your direction when it comes to love, perhaps about the choices, the kind of partners that you choose. Mm. But with the page of wands in reverse, there could be a little bit of an obstacle. That's what I'm sensing here. And with the three of pentacles, I feel like somebody in your past, could be you or your person, again, roles can be reversed, maybe asking um, for a second chance, but they're not quite expressing it. Three of Pentacles could indicate somebody wanting to heal this connection, wanting to fix and rebuild this connection with you. And also we've got the Nine of Cups in reverse. Virgo, it does look like there's an energy of someone feeling discontented, but the Ace of Wands is here. It's in an upright position. So definitely there is somebody who wants to return from the past, possibly a reconciliation or asking for a second chance to reignite this um, connection, passionate connection with you. So I do sense also, Virgo, that your person is very, very attracted to you or and vice versa. Okay, so we have the Seven of Wands here. Virgo, this can be an, a very defensive energy, but I don't see this as a bad um, defensive energy at all. I do sense this as more of somebody trying to protect themselves, protect themselves from getting hurt. And the temperance is in reverse here. I feel like you and your person currently are possibly not in such good terms, okay? There's some imbalance here. And also we've got the Six of Wands in reverse. Somebody could have fallen from grace. You may not look at somebody the same way that you used to look at them in the past. And Virgo, for sure, you know your values. You, you've got the Nine of Pentacles here and got the Queen of Swords as well. You are not going to take anybody's BS nonsense at all. You know your, your worth, you know your value, and you are very independent and you're absolutely beautiful as well or good looking if you're a guy. And I feel that if you don't see this right now, whatever you've been working on in the past or currently, when it come to, comes to your career finances, it looks like you are going to be making a lot of money and on your own by yourself as well, okay? Because the Nine of Pentacles also could be an indication of um, independence, self-reliance, okay? Five of Wands is right here. Mm, this could mean trouble in paradise or because I'm only saying trouble in paradise because of the temperance here in reverse, um, disharmony, okay? For some of you, some of you only, if not for all of you, okay? You could have been dealing with a third party situation in the past, there's some sort of an interference from outsiders or from an outsider. And we've got the nine of wands here, Virgo. You definitely have been hurt before, and I, but you're still standing. See, look at the nine of wands. This guy is still standing, although there, there's a bandage on his head. Again, it doesn't matter. He or she is not gender specific, but the queen of swords is here. Ooh, nice. The star. Oh my God, Virgo, you've got one, two, two beautiful major arcanas here. I feel like there's going to be a huge shift when it comes to your life in general. And you're going to be the star here. You're going to be very popular because as you can see, the star of all of the little stars, stars here, the biggest star is you. All right, Virgo. By the way, I was telling you about Mercury retrograding, so my communication may not be 100%, so please bear with me. But the Page of Cups is in reverse. Virgo, I feel like a lot of you are not accepting any sorts of offer. 
um, that you feel is not genuine or if it's not up to your standard. And also you got the four ones here. This could be an indication of a possible uh, connection in your future, which is going to be very stable, could end up in a marriage, getting married, okay, or moving in together. But the star is here, Virgo. I love this card and I feel like you, um, whatever that you've been wishing for your whole life when it comes to love, um, it's going to come true, okay? And the star also indicates healing, recovery. So I feel like a lot of you, if you're going through healing and recovery, you're going to be very successful, okay? With the Queen of Swords as well, you know, Virgo, you're very intelligent. Um, you, Virgo and Aquarius, who actually the Queen of Swords can also be a sign of Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. And of all 12 signs, Virgos and Aquarius are the most intelligent, okay? And you, the Queen of Swords always comes out. And with the star here, ugh, and you are so, ugh, but not in a bad way, but in a really good way. And the star here also, and as well as the nine of pentacles, Virgo, your wishes are all going to come true. And you're not going to allow anybody to walk all over you, that's for sure. And the ten of swords is in reverse. I do send somebody wanting to return, wanting to heal this connection with you. And they also see you as one of a kind, okay? No one compares to you because you are, again, self-sufficient. You don't need anybody, <laughs> okay? And you're very intelligent and you don't take BS from anybody. And queen of cups is in reverse here, Virgo. I feel like a lot of you, you know, are practicing, trying, are trying not to um, let your emotions um, dominating your life, okay? I feel like a lot of you are using your intellect, your uh, logic, practicality, and you apply that in your love life and in, in your life in general. And I feel like that's when it becomes really successful. And also we got the Ace of Swords here, Virgo. It indicates success as well, but also indicates something or somebody where you have to cut off. I love, I love this um, reading, Virgo, to be honest. Okay, it could have been very chaotic in the past or even currently, but I feel like you're gonna feel a sense of serenity in the future, in the near future. And there is somebody here, okay? whom I feel that you are going to, you know, for once here, it means a lot of things. Celebration as well. You're going to be celebrating. You could get married. Okay, move in together. I already said that. Let's see one more card. Ten of Pentacles is in reverse. I feel like this is a past, past energy. Okay, this is a past energy. But I feel like Perhaps there was a connection that you thought it could have gone all the way towards the end and it didn't happen. But Eight of Pentacles is here. It could be an indication of your person or somebody um, trying to work on this connection or focusing on this connection. But Virgo, this is your card. You're focusing on your work, okay? And you are going through healing and recovery and you're going to be very successful at it. All right, Virgo, this is your reading. I hope you resonated. If you did, please hit like share and subscribe. Currently, I am accepting personal reading requests. My information is in the description box below if you'd like to book me. Nothing else. Um, I hope to see you tomorrow as I've been posting your videos almost every single day lately. Take care, Virgo. Bye.